माइक टेस्टिंग हेलो वन टू थ्री हाँ कराची स्टॉक से बिल्कुल ठीक जूम कर ले थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा वो बिलिंग नहीं करता वो बेसिकली एक्सपोजर लेवल सेट कर रहा होता है कुछ नहीं मैं तो ऑटो पर ही छोड़ता हूँ डजर मैटर क्योंकि मैं रिपोर्टर हूँ ना मैं अकेला जब करना तो मुझे क्या तू क्योंकि कैमरा मैन है तू मैन एक्सपोजर कर सकता है Why do I have to pee every 10 minutes? It's cold, right? It's cold. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's cold. Maybe it's cold. Body's response. What can I say? What do I do? What do I do? I'm not doing it. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. नहीं नहीं ठीक है मैं हल्का सा ऐसे हो तुम चल अभी दस बज के दस मिनट हुए आई डोंट थिंक तुम्हें इतना जल्दी लाइव लेंगे आपके सामने कॉल आई है लाइव की वगैरह जब लाइव स्टैंड बाई होते हैं अलमदार के अलमबरदार प्रोड्यूसर अच्छा इस टाइम पे तो करोड़ो नहीं है पैनल पे अनम वो अली अच्छा यार वो भी सवेरे वाला भी चंगा स्टैंड सी यार शुक्र करो आखिरी मौके पे चीजें लगा रात को ढाई बजे तक स्टैंड था मान चौधरी का हाँ मैंने आप उस वक्त थे सोए बैठे हाँ बैठ गया मैंने कोई सामलेकम सामलेकम सर ओके सर ओके ओके सामने देखें यार सामने देखें यार मार्च आठ
Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Well, I'm in uh, Washington DC right now, standing in front of a polling station. It's, uh, it's basically an elementary school which has been converted into a makeshift polling station. Uh, a total of 200 similar uh, polling stations have been uh, formed all across uh, America. And over a million people have been, de uh, have been deputed to facilitate the process. And uh, right now the uh, people are coming in. Uh, you know, the, the number isn't that, huge, isn't that impressive, at least. Uh, from, uh, from from the way uh, from where I'm standing and looking at it, uh, one of the reasons perhaps is because uh, most of the people, uh, a large number of people rather, have already casted their votes through the through pre uh, polling and, uh, and especially through the mail. Uh, over uh, uh, close to uh, 95 million have already casted their uh, votes. Uh, out of a total population of 328 million, uh, the eligible voters are close to 240 million, and out of them, uh, 95 million have already, you know, uh, casted. So, uh, whereas uh, we can see that it's the, the there are not a lot of people right now, but still people are coming in uh, as per their convenience and time. Well, the polls and the estimates, at least the, the analysts, most of them are uh, of the opinion that Mr. Biden uh, might be uh, in the lead of uh, eight to nine uh, percentage point. But then again, it doesn't really, it's not really a, refle a reflection of the outcome the, of the elections. The outcome is mainly dependent on the uh, electoral college uh, scene, whereas uh, where a, a candidate is supposed to get 270 vote, whoever scores 270 uh, votes of the electoral college gets to become the president. Therefore, it's very hard to say right now who's going to who's going to be uh, the next uh, the next U.S. president. Well, it's a very good question. Uh, we have eight battleground states. They are basically uh, one of those states where the difference between, or uh, you know, in terms of popularity, isn't that uh, huge. Uh, so uh, there are uh, the rest of the states where either Republican or Democrats they are in absolute majority. Other than those, these eight battleground states, they are the ones where the margin is very uh, uh, small. These are the these are basically those states uh, which can uh, truly you know affect and determine the outcome of the U.S. elections. Uh, therefore, it, it's all up to the swing states. You know, in the end of the day, uh, the, the 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 polling is going to close at. Uh, 7 p.m. here in U.S. time and uh, after 8 p.m. as the results starts to come in, then we'll see uh, uh, what the uh, situation of the electoral college stands. Well, the Pakistani community is quite, uh, you know, uh, vibrant and, and quite active these days because they are also, you know, lobbying for their uh, respective candidates, either from the Democratic Party side or the Republican Party side. In the previous elections, I've been told, uh, the ones, the, you know, uh, the, 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 the prominent community members that I met here, I was told that previously, in the previous elections, Pakistani community was rather reserved. But this time, at least, they are more active. They are trying to convince, you know, the uh, local uh, Pakistani uh, population uh, to come and uh, you know uh, cast their votes so that so, so that their opinions and their problems can be you know heard in the uh, doorways of the policy makers yes uh, you are absolutely right uh, the COVID situation has also affected the uh, voter attendance. Uh, the voters are, uh, they might be, I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing that the voters, uh, one of the main reasons for them to cast an early vote was this particular COVID-19. And similarly, uh, you know, they, they are also observing social distancing. That's why we, we, uh, we do see that the voter attendance is not uh, what, it, what it has been in the past.
Well, you, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, the overall, uh, you know, the water turnout, uh, they, everyone is expecting it to be significantly higher than, uh, than what it has been in the past. One of the main reasons is COVID-19 and how the situation has been handled by the current administration. And this has been uh, a rather a, a moot point. And it has also significantly, you know, affected the uh, current uh, U.S. President Donald Trump's, uh, uh, you know, reputation as well, uh, especially in the eyes of the prospective voters. On the other hand, Mr. Donald Trump's uh, performance as far as the economic front has been uh, has been quite uh, impressive. Uh, when it when we take into the numbers of uh, the unemployment and the employment and the you know the inflation and as such. So uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, from the Democratic Party side. Uh, the voters are also taking into consideration his universal health care plan and especially, you know, uh, the revitalization of the U.S. Uh, relationship uh, with its friends and especially the NATO countries. So uh, that is one of the reasons that we are expecting that the voter, overall voter turnout would definitely be significantly higher than before.